Hey everyone, welcome to Crystal's Mukbangs and Other Things. Today, I have a very big surprise for you. And you're not going to believe it, the surprise I have. But I'm just going to let you see for yourself. So just hold on a minute. Stay tuned. I don't know if I have to wear a mask over here or not, but we're going to try. We're going to see what this these people say you're not gonna believe what I'm doing this is unprecedented which one fella Good, how are you? Good, we doing an oil change? Yes, sir. Awesome. I'm going to leave it running. I'm going to get you scanned in real quick. Have you been here before with us? Oh, it's been many years. Okay. Let me pop the door open real quick. That's right, folks. I'm getting an oil change. He's scanning my car. 9761 inch Everybody complaining, saying, oh. Yes. Awesome. And it looks like last time we saw you was back in 2015. We used the conventional mile oil, but you were at 11,000 miles. So now you're sitting closer to 100,000. I would personally recommend the semi synthetic blend because Ford is going to want you to use the synthetic anyways. But what that oil has in it is a special additive that just helps reseal your blend gaskets. So it helps prevent leaks once you start to get to that higher mileage. Oh, I don't need all that. Just some regular oil. Absolutely. You just got some Walmart oil. You know, do I have to wear this mask, sir? I'm sorry? Do I have to wear this mask? You, uh, you either have to wear the mask or roll your window three-fourths away. Okay, I'll wear it like this then. Absolutely. And we're going to check your lights out. So go ahead and flip your headlights all the way on. Okay. On. This is very complex. He gonna tell me my I already know my brake lights out. You ain't gotta tell me. I didn't see one. Sometimes it works. Yeah, it's gonna be the passenger side one. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't work. <laughs> well, while I got you, you want me to toss a bulb in there for eleven dollars? How complex is it? I'm sorry. How complex is it? Uh, I believe with this one, you got two 10 mil bolts that hold the whole headlight center in the end, and then you pop that out, and then you turn turn the light, pull Just, it out. You go ahead and do that. Absolutely. Go ahead, pop the hood, shut it all the way down for me, and we'll go ahead and get you started. Uh, These ones are kind of hidden for me. Can you get it, honey? Yes, I'm too fat. Thank oh, you. Oh, no. And you said turn it off? Yes, ma'am. So as as a bonus, I've got Burger King, and I'm on a muck bank while I'm burger while I'm getting my oil change. Everybody said you got to get your oil change. You can't be driving around without no oil. Well, here I am. I've been driving around, uh, like I said, since 2017. So first. We got us uh, some uh, french fries from Burger King. And I, I went to the closest place that was here, and that was Burger King. So I don't know what he's doing. He has a some sort of screwdriver. <laughs> this is really exciting because this is probably the world's first mukbang slash uh, oil change. Oh, he's going to come show me. You know what I do? I remember. I remember about these things. 
they try to show you all the filters and everything and say, oh, you need a filter because it's dirty. Well, you should see my underwear, sir. They're dirty too, but I don't change them. You know what I'm saying? I can't see shit. So it feels like somebody's underneath my car doing something. Oh, here he comes with the filters. We got the filters, baby. They look pretty good. Uh, this is this is a new one compared to yours. <laughs> that <laughs> that is definitely time for a replacement. <laughs> you should have only have to replace these once a year. <laughs> How much are you gonna pay to make me pay for one of them damn things? Twenty two fifty. About a dollar more than the auto parts store. We just install it. To put it in, cause I ain't going to the auto parts store. Yes, sir. I think he did the switcheroo on me. I think mine was the real clean one. His was the dirty one. How much we up to now? About a thousand dollars? Uh, two thousand. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm trying to eat my lunch here while we're doing this. I'm trying to kill two two stones with the two I'm trying to kill a stone with a bird. So the fries are hot and delicious. Have you had any problems with your battery? No. Okay, we always test your battery every time you come in. Your battery is supposed to hold about 590 cold cranking amps, and you're only pushing about 332. Oh, no. So, a good battery holds a charge at 14.4 volts. Right now, you're only sitting at 12.7. Here, we do sell our own batteries. They come with a free three-year warranty. While I got you in, you just want me to get you a price on a battery. That way, you can price shop around. Oh, I don't need no battery. Absolutely. Thank you. No problem. We can't afford no more stuff, so you better stop looking at all the stuff that's wrong with it. Well, we got to do our jobs here. <laughs> Just throw the whole car away. That's what I'm saying. Get the new car. Go ahead and pop the trunk for me. I'm going to get after that brake light for you. This brake light been out for, I'd say three years. All right, in addition to my fries here, I have a classic large drink that has sweet tea in it. And it's good as hell too. All right, for my main course, I got this here, uh, Whopper with cheese. And let's do a picture while we're at it. Cheese. Cheese. If he comes up here and tells me one more thing, I'm starting this car and driving off. Because I think my last mukbang got, <clears throat> oh, about 30,000 views on it, they tell me. So that means $30,000 I'm going to get. And I don't know if they're going to write me a check or what they're going to do. So I got the burger here. I got a Whopper with cheese, and it's got all these toppings and everything on there. Can't. I don't feel no movement underneath. All right. He pull up. This guy ain't got no uniform on. I don't think he's supposed to be walking in this area. Uh, as far as uh, this Rodney stuff goes, and again, I ain't saying too much about it, but... Uh, 
I'd say I have about 4% healing going on, you know. I didn't cry constantly this past week. I just, uh, you know, I cried uh, when I thought about being alone. I cried when I thought about, of course, my figurines. Uh, I tried not to think too much because, you know, you think too much, then you start thinking, oh, well, I'm going to take him back. Never mind all this horrible stuff he did. Then you got to stop yourself, you know. Because what that is, that's called romanticizing. You start romanticizing, and then, and in my, in my, in my thoughts and, and dreams about him, my thoughts and dreams about him, I, uh, he looks attractive. But in real life, he ain't attractive, you know. He busted. That's what romanticizing will do to you. Damn, we, I can see it. It's $84 already. I like that you can stay in the car. That's real nice. That's a nice feature. You hear me, young man? He ain't paying attention to me. He's pretending like he's checking stuff. He's like, I'm checking number two, checking number four. He ain't checking nothing. See, that's what I told y'all. This was all set up by the government. My car was running fine. Except for the engine light, everything was fine. Y'all got the coupons? Um, you know, you can ask Mason just a second. What's his name? Mason. No, nothing. nothing. Do your job, Mason. <laughs> you got any coupons? Yeah, that I did put a coupon on there for oh, you. Oh, you are such a blessing. So the we run a coupon here at Valvoline. It's called the Pick Three. You pick three services, no matter what they are, and we save you ten percent on each individual. Dang, you really helped me out today. Absolutely. And it said, my safety comes first. It says it right there. Today's total is $75.97 for you with a 10% put on brake light, oil change, and air filter for you. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. He pour, is he pouring the oil in there? Thank you. No problem. As far as this burger goes, it's just a regular old Whopper. It don't have no extra features and don't have no, uh, nothing new. It's just regular. And I've had many of these in my life, so this is just an old you know, this is just something to do while I was getting my oil changed. Oh, I feel something underneath me. They're really doing stuff under there. You go ahead and start it up for me. Are you sure? Yeah. You got oil in there? Yep. Oil pressure bay too. If you can shut it down for me, thank you. 
Well, you ain't gonna believe this, but my <laughs> my check engine light went out. That's really <laughs> that's really something. Yeah, for a local back to full. Oh, look at that. I guess y'all was right. I guess I should have got a oil change a long time ago. That still don't change the fact that this is a total conspiracy. This is a printout of the couple of recommendations that are gonna do for you. Okay. The only thing coming due from Ford is gonna be your tire rotation. Oh, okay. The transmission, we recommend every 60,000 miles, but with your vehicle, we actually don't have the fluid because it's a dual clutch fluid. Yeah, they just replaced that not too long ago because it you was recalled. Right then. Did you want to hold on to this? Oh, uh, sure. Absolutely. I got you a new fancy sticker for up in the window. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, you can leave that, that other one. Gonna be... It's been on there for several, <laughs> several years. <laughs> hey, did you need a hand resetting the oil change reminder light? No, I could do that. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Did he give me my credit card? This place is busy. I guess people, lots of people do get their damn oil changed. That's weird. I never knew that it was such a big deal. I had to, uh, I had the uh, fella next door look. I said, look up where I can get an oil change where I ain't got to get out of the car. And uh, he found this place. He said, Miss Crystal, I think this place is good because you don't have to get out and you can go in there and they do everything look at everything for you I can't believe my truck engine light went out so when you when you come here pay attention though make sure they don't take an old filter and show you the old one is it time to go thanks Cameron That was a real nice fella. All right, they're leading me out of here. I'm always scared I'm gonna crash into somebody when I'm in these kind of situations. Thanks, fella. Well, I'm gonna sit over here and finish my lunch. Well, I hope y'all liked the surprise I had for you. Uh, the dual, the dual, uh, the dual muck bank. We had, uh, oil change food we had not too many stories you know but I'm gonna hurry up and get home so I can have a uh, little neighbor put this on the TV for y'all make sure y'all tell your friends to look at this so when I can get so many views, I can get some more money. And then I can buy Tammy stuff. I think that'll do it. Let's see how much money did we spend. I forget, what did he say, $70? I'm going to check engine light when I can't believe it. That, you know what? Now that I think about it, that's what he did. When he used his little scanner to scan my car into the system, he probably turned off my check engine light, and then they're going to manually make it come back on when they want me to come back in there and, and spend some more money. You can't fool me. I Let me look at it. Or like a barcode's got all my car information. Yep, that's how it is. That's what it was. It took. It, I just realized it. That's what they do. Cause how else would it go off? Cause there wasn't nothing wrong with my car. The car was fine. I'm kind of mad now. I feel like that fella was real nice though. I can't imagine he's the one responsible for doing all that. 
be just a government pawn. That's it. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here. My tooth is hurting. The tooth that's missing don't hurt. It's the tooth behind it that hurts. And it's real sensitive. Okay, well, this is Crystal. This is Crystal signing off from her mukbang in for her oil change. Thanks for the support. Okay, bye-bye.